Well, it may not have been pretty, but let's be honest, it certainly wasn't pretty. But Chelsea are into another cup final. We have beaten Al Hilal by a goal to nil to reach the Club World Cup final for the second time in our history. Let's just hope this time we can actually win the fucking thing. Hello guys, how are you getting on? My name is Aaron Kelly and welcome back to another video. Al Hilal nil, Chelsea won, as I said, in the Club World Cup semi-final affair from pretty job but certainly a job well done nonetheless Romelu Lukaku's first half goal the difference between the two sides and I'm really just happy that we got the result today I think it's fair to say the performance was lacking in many areas but overall I think we can be happy with uh, what we saw Lukaku gets a goal a much needed goal because there has been so much negativity surrounding him in the last uh, month and a half at this stage really and a win is a win is a win as the old saying goes but I think it's fair to say you know Al Hilal are not a bad side at all they put up a decent and fight particularly right at the start of that second half they've got a few decent players you know Mateus Pereira I think Chelsea fans will remember him very very well from his West Brom days Audio Nogalo up front obviously formerly of um, Watford and Manchester United and uh, Morega that used to play for uh, Porto who looks suspiciously like Johnny Nelson I don't know is anybody else seeing that this is the first thing that I said when I seen him. But Chelsea fielded a strong team as expected. Obviously, Kepa is in goal. Edouard Mendy only just returned from the African Cup of Nations. Congratulations to Senegal, by the way. Aspilicueta and Marcus Alonso were the wing-backs. Christensen, Thiago Silva and Rudiger. Jorginho started with Kovacic. Kante, I believe, came on at half-time. Then you had Ziyech, who's been in, in terrific form uh, recently. Kai Havertz starting as well on the left wing. I think it's a uh, player we've been crying out to see... Um, starting the Chelsea starting eleven, and of course Romelu Lukaku. I think a lot of us were calling for Lukaku to be dropped after his recent antics. But I mean, if you watched my last video, you would have seen me say this. But when we need him, Romelu Lukaku stepped up to the plate. Did I think he had a great game apart from his goal? <laughs> Absolutely not. He still has the first touch of an absolute horse. Apologies to all horses everywhere. If the if there is a horse out there with a terrific first touch, just get in touch. You know, we don't mean to offend anyone here. But I thought the two wide players, I think, were probably Chelsea's two standout players. I thought Havertz and Ziyech were absolutely brilliant. I thought Kovacic was excellent once again as well. I think Kante when he came on did but he had to. Kepa actually I will say shout out to him making a, a fantastic save to deny I think Morega near enough to start the second half. Absolutely brilliant save and at a crucial time as well a time where Chelsea were um, seriously under the cosh and I was really worried that if Al-Hilal had scored at that point that it would have been a, a very very difficult end to the game for us. We would have had to go, obviously retake the lead but luckily Kepa as he's been doing really I think it's fair to say when I heard Obviously, that Edouard Mendy was going to be going to AFCON. Um, I think worry was setting in when it came to Kepa. I wasn't sure that he was going to be able to step up to the plate. But I have to say, from, you know, the beginning of Kepa, when he was, you know, the man that wouldn't come off from Maurizio Sarri to the man who became Chelsea's number one under Frank Lampard and really conceded so many goals that he really shouldn't have conceded, to losing his place at the club as, you know, the, the club's number one keeper to Edouard Mendy, he's not complained once about the fact that he's only back up to Edouard Mendy and he's come in since Mendy's been gone and he's done a really really outstanding job so I have to say full praise to to Kepa Ariza Balaga and that save at the start of the second half to deny Morega was um, a really a testament to that. I thought the back five in general had a good game I think um, you know shout out in particular to Andreas Christensen I thought he had a decent game he's another player that has been quite inconsistent and in and out of the team all season and Chelsea qualified to face Palmeiras in the final um, on Saturday afternoon so I'm very much looking forward to that. I really really do want to win this competition um, well, I would, I'm not going to win it. I would really love to see Chelsea win this competition. Obviously, we were in it last back in 2012 after we... My phone nearly fell there. Obviously, we were last in it in 2012, having won the Champions League in 2012. And I was really, really disappointed when we didn't beat um, Corinthians in the final. And there were so many missed chances. I think Rafa Benitez had a bit of a stinker in terms of his managerial decisions. I remember Fernando Torres missing an absolute sitter in the final as well. So it's a trophy I'd absolutely love to win. And in a season where Chelsea aren't going to win the Premier League, I don't really see us winning the Champions League again. It's up to the rest of us to scrap for what 
else is left, I suppose. And obviously, we've already won the UEFA Super Cup, which is still a relatively big competition, I would say. You know, it's, an, it's a trophy you like to win. We've got this final on Saturday, followed by uh, Liverpool in the Carabao Cup final. Um, on the 27th of February so very much looking forward to that apart from that lads that's where I'm going to wrap it up nice and short video just to quickly recap the game let me know what you guys thought in the comment section down below leave a like on this video if you did enjoy subscribe if you are new and I will see you later